Let us continue to solve problems based on volume of cylinder. Now the question here says that the difference between the outside and inside surfaces of a cylindrical metal pipe. Now we know that as soon as pipe comes into play, we are talking about hollow cylinders. So then we've got definitely outside and inside surfaces. So here it says that the difference between the outside and the inside surfaces of a cylindrical metal pipe 14 centimeter long, so that is the height, 14 centimeter long is 44 centimeters square. If the pipe is made up of 99 cubic centimeters of metal, now what does this say? This is the volume, 99 cubic centimeters, cubic, length into breadth into height, something like that. So that is cubic, cubic centimeters of metal, so therefore it is a volume. So that means 99 centimeter cube of material is used to make the pipe. So now, if the pipe is made up of 99 cubic centimeters of metal, find the outer and the inner radii of the pipe. Now, how do we go about solving this sum? Now, all we have to do is, they've clearly mentioned the difference between the outside and the inside surfaces of a cylindrical metal pipe 14 centimeter long is 44 centimeters square. So that is, the outside surface area minus the inside surface area gives you 44 centimeters square. Now, before we talk about how do we solve the problem, let us assume certain things. Let the outer radius be r centimeter and the inner radius be small r centimeter. Now, we know that the outside surface area is 2 pi capital R h and the inside surface area is 2 pi small r h. Now they're saying the difference between the outside surface area and the inside surface area is 44 centimeters square. So here it is, the difference between, this is the outside surface area, this is the inside surface area. The difference is given as 44 centimeters square. Here we've just got one unknown, that is the R, but then it is two unknowns. One is the capital R and one is the small r. We know pi, we know h. Right? So let us form an equation from this. And the next data that we've got is if the pipe is made of 99 cubic centimeters of metal, find the outer and the inner radius of the pipe. This is not simply the volume of the metallic cylinder. This is the volume of the material of the metallic cylinder. Now, how do you find that? It is nothing but the external volume minus the internal volume. Let me quickly show that. If this is a solid cylindrical material, then it's fine. But since it's a pipe, we've got something like this. So the metal that is used is only here. This is empty. There's nothing here. So we need the outer volume and the inner volume and subtract them, you get the volume of the material. But the volume of that material is already given here very clearly, 99 cubic centimeters. So we know that, now here, that we've already assumed the outer radius be capital R centimeter and the inner radius be small r centimeter. Let us find out the external volume. External volume is nothing but pi capital R square h and the internal volume is pi small r square h. Now the difference between these two is going to give us 99 centimeter cube. So now again here we've got one unknown that is r but then since it's a capital R and there's a small r, they are both different. So we've got two unknowns, but we know pi and we know h. So let us form an equation here. So here we'll be forming an equation with the help of capital R, small r, and then a constant. Here also we'll be forming an equation with capital R, small r, and then a constant. So when we form two equations, we get a simultaneous equation, solve for the simultaneous equation, and find the capital R and the small r. So this is how we have to go about solving this problem. So now let's do it can take out 2 pi h as common so and then we get capital R minus small r equals 44 centimeter square now capital R minus small r equals 44 divided by 2 into pi into h which is nothing but 44 divided by 2 into 22 by 7 but eventually it will go on top so it is 44 into 7 by 2 into 22 into height is 14 centimeters. So solving this, we get 7 2 times 
22 2 times 44 and then 2 2 gets cancelled we have 1 by 2 left so the equation that we've got it here is capital r minus small r is 1 by 2 so this is one of the two equations the second equation we are going to get it from this one so here also again we can take out pi h as common and then we have capital R square minus small r square equals 99 centimeter cube. So here we have 22 by 7 into height is 14. R square minus R square that is A square minus B square is A plus B into A minus B. So we've got capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r equals 99 centimeter cube. So capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r equals 99 into 7 by 22 into 14. 7, 2 times is 14. So here we've got 99 by 22 into 2. And then on the left hand side, we've got R plus capital R plus small r and capital R minus small r. So what do we do now? We already know that capital R minus small r equals half. So let us substitute that half here. So we get capital R plus small r into half equals 99 by 22 into 2. Now continuing this year, we have capital R plus small r equals 99 into 2 divided by 22 into 2. This half goes to the other side. So here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We have r plus r equals 99 by 22. Now we've got two equations. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. Solving these two, r plus r equals 99 by 22, r minus r equals 1 by 2. Adding the two equations, we cancel plus r and the negative r. We get 2r equals 99 by 22 plus half. 99 by 22 plus half is is 110 by 22. So R equals 110 by 22 into 2, which is 255 times gives you 110. And 22, 2.5 times gives you 55. So the capital R is 2.5 centimeters. So finally, we found the capital R. Now that we know the capital R, substituting the capital R in any one of the equations, that is R, R minus R is equal to half or R plus R equals 99 by 22. So now let us substitute the capital R as 2.5 in this first equation. We get R equals 2.5 minus half, which is 2 centimeters. So therefore, we found the outer radius and the inner radius of the pipe and the outer radius of the pipe is 2.5 centimeters and the inner radius of the pipe is 2 centimeters. Now let us quickly solve another problem. It costs Rs. 2200 to paint the inner curved surface area of a cylindrical vessel 10 meters deep, that is the height. If the cost of painting is at the rate of Rs. 20 per meter square, Find the radius of the base, the inner curved surface area of the vessel, and the capacity of the vessel. First, let us quickly find out the radius of the base. So we've already given the cost to paint at the rate of 20 per meter square. Now, again, since it is a cylindrical vessel, we've got the in inner curved surface area of a cylindrical vessel. So here we don't have to worry about the outer curved surface area because they are painting only the inner curved surface area of the vessel. So let us assume the inner radius of the vessel to be small r meters. The inner curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi r h. Now in this we've got 2 and pi and h that is nothing but 2 into 22 by 7 into r is unknown and h is 10. So we have 20 into 22 by 7 r meters squared as the inner curve surface area. But then we need to find the radius. 
But considering this as the area of the inner curved surface, multiplying this by 20 per meter square should give us 2200. So let us use this to find out R. So we have 20 into 22 by 7 R into 20 equaling to 2200 because per meter square it costs 20. So this much meter square multiplied by 20 should give us 2200. So let us find the unknown now. Solving this, we have R as 7 by 4 meters. So we found the R now. So the radius of the base is found. Now let us work out for the inner curved surface area of the vessel. Inner curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi R H, which is 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 4 into the height is 10. So 7 and 7 gets cancelled. We have 2. 2 times is 4 and then 2 5 times is 10. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So 22 into 5 is 110 meters square. So the inner curved surface area of the vessel is 110 meters square. So we found the second question also. Now we need to find the capacity of the vessel. Capacity of the vessel is nothing but the volume of the vessel. So the capacity of the vessel is pi r square h. So now we have the pi as 22 by 7, r as 7 by 4. Since it is r square, it is 7 by 4 into 7 by 4. And then we've got the height as 10. So 7 and 7 gets cancelled. And then solving this, we get 96.25 meter cube. But then they're asking the capacity of the vessel. So it should also be in terms of liters. The volume is 96.25, no doubt about that. Now, we also need to know another conversion. One meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. This is also equal to one kiloliter. Just as how it was, one centimeter cube, 1000 centimeter cube equals one liter. So now 96.25 meter cube is also 96.25 kiloliters. So this is the capacity of the vessel.